Axel Goes to Thailand, written by Stacy Martini, illustrated by Tina Emmett. One day, Axel came running up the stairs to find Mom and Dad packing their suitcases. No! He knew what this meant. Mom and Dad were going on a trip, and Axel didn't see his backpack anywhere. He wasn't going with them. Mom scooped up Axel in her arms and said, Hey, little guy, Grandma and Grandpa are coming to stay with you while we go to Thailand. Boy, did he love Grandma and Grandpa, but he still wanted to go with Mom and Dad. Axel thought of a plan. He noticed Dad's bag was unzipped. This was his chance. He crept over to the bag and wiggled his way in. He scooted as far away from the opening as possible. Thank goodness he was little. Just a moment later, he was being carried, and he heard his Mom and Dad say, Bye, Axel! Having already taken four naps, Axel's stomach started to growl. He found some snacks in the bag and couldn't stop himself from gobbling it all up. He burped, then decided to take another nap. Axel opened his eyes and poked his nose through the zipper. They were in a moving car and he saw sunshine and an ocean. He got so excited he couldn't stop wiggling. All of a sudden, Dad looked down and saw him. Uh-oh, busted. Dad pulled him out of the bag and held him. He said to Mom, look who snuck into my bag. Mom and Dad looked at Axel and did not look happy to see him. Oh no, what could he do? Axel made his eyes as large as possible and hoped his face looked pitiful enough to get him out of trouble. When their frowns turned into smiles, Axel knew it worked. They forgave him, so he crawled on Mom's lap and poked his head out the window. The wind pushed against his fur and he let his tongue hang. Yay, my favorite thing! When the car stopped, they all got out and started walking toward the bungalow. The sun was shining with an intensity he was not used to. Suddenly, a little black kitten walked over and introduced himself. Hi there, my name is Toby. What's yours? Axel couldn't stop himself from wiggling. Hi, I'm Axel. Toby asked, do you like adventures? Yes, adventures are my favorite, Axel exclaimed. We will go on an adventure later then, Toby said. Axel was thrilled. Toby was definitely his kind of friend. After Mom and Dad went to sleep, Toby showed up on the porch and said, Psst! Axel slowly poked his nose through the mosquito net and on silent pause climbed through the window to meet Toby. They both headed toward the jungle. Axel's entire body wiggled with excitement. After a while of exploring, they stumbled across a cluster of bushes. That's when Axel heard the sniffles. Toby and Axel crept through the bushes until there was a fence and they came to a huge thing. Axel didn't know what it was. It had something hanging from its face and the biggest ears he'd ever seen. He whispered to Toby, what's that? Toby replied, he's an elephant. This elephant was gigantic, but it looked sad. So Axel put aside his fear and asked, excuse me, are you okay? The elephant sniffled and said, no, I feel sad and I hurt. Axel felt sorry for him. He remembered when he felt sad, but his mom and dad saved him. Axel was determined to help him, and he knew Toby was too. Toby asked, what's your name? Then introduced himself and Axel. You can call me Freddy. Axel asked, why do you feel sad? He took a big sniffle and replied, they separated me from my mom when I was a calf, and the people who took me aren't nice. My back hurts from carrying people, and they chained my foot to this post. Axel's furry jaw dropped. Why would anyone ride a wild animal? Axel knew he had to do something. He said, we're going to help you, Freddy. There's nothing you can do, Freddy closed his eyes. Axel knew there was always something he could do. The locked shackle around Freddy's foot had a keyhole. He knew he needed to find the key to free him. He searched the area and then spotted a key hanging in the distance. After he snuck over to it, he used all of his strength to get the key ring off the hook. Success! Axel trotted back over to Freddy and Toby. Then he slid the key in the hole and turned his head. He heard a Yes, he got the shackle off. Freddy said, thank you, that feels much better, but how do I get past the fence? Toby piped in and said, I got this one. The nimble cat climbed on top of the fence and opened the latch with his paw. The gate swung open. Freddy's eyes filled with hope and he walked as quietly as possible through the opening. Toby and Axel whispered, follow us. As they trekked through the jungle, they saw snakes and monkeys and soon they arrived at mom and dad's bungalow. 
Axel nudged their hands and licked their faces. When they opened their eyes, he led them to the door. Mom and Dad stepped outside and their eyes widened. Axel showed them the scrapes from the shackles on Freddy's leg. Axel reassured Freddy that it was safe. Mom stepped forward and asked if she could gently touch him. Freddy reached his trunk out, so she slowly rested her hand on his skin for comfort. She said softly, we will find you a safe place. She pulled out her phone and began talking to someone. After she hung up, she said, hide behind the bungalow for tonight and we will take you to a safe place in the morning. It is an ethical rehabilitation sanctuary for elephants. I know the place. It's not like the others. It will be okay. Early in the morning, Axel opened his eyes and noticed Freddy was wide awake. He had slept with Freddy last night so he wouldn't be afraid. Mom and Dad came out and said, Okay, guys, you need to quietly follow us. Axel, Toby, and Freddy all followed Mom and Dad. They came to a large truck that had food in the back. Mom said to Freddy, We are going to ride with you to the sanctuary, okay? You will be in the back. We will be in the front. Freddy was skeptical, so Axel reassured his new friend, It's safe, Freddy. We are all going with you. I will ride in the back. Freddy smiled and used his big trunk to scoop him up for a hug. After riding in the truck for a while, they stopped and got out. There were fields and trees for miles. There were a couple elephants throwing mud on themselves and other elephants bathing in a pond. Axel looked at Freddy and saw a big smile on his face. He asked Axel, is this a dream? Axel was happy to tell him, nope, it's not a dream. This is your new home, Freddy. No one will hurt you here. Then Freddy wrapped his trunk around Axel for another hug and said, thank you. A loud trumpeting sound erupted through the air, and another elephant ran toward them. Suddenly, Freddy said with excitement, Mom! Freddy and his mom wrapped their trunks around each other. Axel's heart felt like it was ten times the size. He was thrilled he got to help Freddy. Toby and Axel looked at each other, and they knew they needed to tell the world about Freddy. There were other elephants just like him. People needed to do the right thing and make a change. Ask themselves, how would I feel? It didn't matter they were only eight inches tall. They could make a difference together. This fictional story was inspired by the writer's experience in Thailand. Mom and Dad are based off of herself and her husband. Their adventurous little dog plays Axel. Toby is based off of a kitten they met in Thailand. And Freddy is based off of the many elephants used for writing. Please ask yourselves how you would feel if you were in the animal's place before attending shows and petting zoos. This story teaches empathy and kindness for all beings. Thank you for listening.